Look what I brought you. Oh, uh, my God. Is it from my goon? Uh, let me see. Pilgrim, you can stand tall today, for you have done your part, however small, in making art history. Now leave. I have to focus to create the one red the world longs to see and paint a fresco that will change it forever. If you come back later, maybe you will see it. Oh, uh, you may have a use for this. My older brother John gave it to me for protection, but I'd probably kill myself trying to use it. Yeah. 
Luan, you there? Luan, hello? Hey, I'm getting really worried. You can stop them. I'm fine. Luan? What's going on? Where are you? Hey. Luan? Hey. Luan? Oh, shit. Fine, but, and I think I pissed someone off. Hey, Dan! I'm guessing your message is coming through loud and clear now. <laughs> I owe you, Aiden, I really do. Our words can now reach everyone. I don't know how to thank you. I sure you do. It's easy. The GRE doctor. <laughs> of course. Always to the point, eh? Like a crossbow bolt. Ah, oh, too bad Row and the boys would never see what they've achieved. Still, the Enlightenment campaign is working. And can you tell me the single most important element of an Enlightenment campaign? And the message? The message? Message is part of its success. Only a part? What matters is... Is... what already? The range. The range? What's the point of good news if no one can hear it? You're telling me that not enough people can hear your beautiful news. And that's why I need your help one more time, Aiden. Wait, what? I delivered on my part of our bargain. Now it's your turn. Turns out it's harder than I expected. Matt, I... No. You know how hard it was out there? I know. We all appreciate your efforts, but... The doctor I told you about is hiding. Which is why you were looking in the first place, right? To find him. Matt, I... I flipped the switch on your entire propaganda... Oh, sorry. Enlightenment campaign. And you can't even find one person for me? We thought we had a lead two days ago. But it was a dead end. Jack, I don't give a shit. This is taking too long. You promised. I know, son. And I intend to keep that promise. We'll send out information via our broadcast. We'll ask everyone. Everyone. I will personally ask anyone who comes to join us about that doctor. All I'm asking you is, help me boost the signal range so it reaches more people, and the search will be easier. Fuck, Matt. This is not how it was supposed to go. I know. I know, son. But our goals are aligned here, as you can see. Just... <sighs> Just tell me what to do. Thank you, Aiden. Here are the antenna positions. We have to adjust them to our frequency. After this, no more favors, Jack. The first antenna is on top of the tallest office building in the Wolf, near the park just south of Marsh End Lane. Good luck. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. So much for having a good day. Daniel. Aiden, how come wherever I go I see your face, Gajo? Nice to see you too, Daniel. How's Lavan? Haven't heard from her in a while. And what are you doing here? Not off Tiro Mawao Nak, Drena Tire Jewe. 
What do you care, Gajo? I didn't expect you'd be doing business with peacekeepers, that's all. My business is my business, not yours, my friend. Now, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> Easy, Daniel. Just making conversation. You make terrible conversation, Gajo. Why don't you go back to the running and the jumping and whatever else you're good at, hmm? Touchy, aren't you? <laughs> I'll see you, man. Howdy, soldier. Just give me some time. I know you're worried. I was a bit like you when I joined the army, you know. Good, noble, with a purpose. I believed I could change the world. But the world kept changing. As did its institutions. Yeah. Maybe we could finally change it. For the better. <coughs> oh, fuck's sake. <coughs> Let me know when you spot the first antenna. Not really. Damn. She hasn't shown up in the canteen, not answering the radio. Where the hell is she? No idea, Frank. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck that. You're a bad seed, Aiden. You really screwed us. And you gave him the station knowing how it hurt us. So help me if anything happens to her again. Whoa, slow down, Frank. What do you mean, again? Luan has her kill list. She's obsessed with it. Her kill list will only kill her, I'm telling you, Aiden. You really need to pull yourself together, Frank. I'll let you know if I hear from Luan. <laughs> Shit.
Jack, I'm close to the first antenna. Good. You know what to do. I'm fine, Jack. Brennan! Aiden, listen. You don't sound good. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. There might be renegades lurking there. Okay, the antenna is on. My man, bravo. The bush won't be expecting that. The next one's on top of a condominium at the intersection of Queen Harriet Boulevard and Downtown Avenue. Hey, you served with the butcher once. What do you think he's planning? I really don't know, Aiden. The butcher has always been a mystery to me. The good leader listens and appreciates good soldiers. Him? Never. Never. And now? Whatever he's planning, he needs to be stopped at all costs. What was that? No idea. I see fire and smoke. Renegades. They're up to something. You'd better check it out. <sighs> sure. <sighs> It's the last one. 
You must get there before they do. Going as fast as I can. You there? Jack, I destroyed the cannon. Dr. Steven here. Jack Matt's unavailable at the moment. Is there something? Give me that. But, sir, you need to rest. Now. Ada? Took care of the punks and the cannon is no longer a threat. Just what I wanted to hear. Whose voice was that just now? No one. Let me know when you activate the next antenna. Avoiding me too. I don't give a shit about anything going on between the two of you. But if anything happens to her, I'll kill you. You hear me? Back off, Daniel. I heard from her. All she said was not to worry and disconnect it. I, I assume she needs space. And that's what I'm giving her. But you're free to look for her yourself. Fuck off, Gancho. Done. The antenna's working. Good. In the meantime, I'm noodling with some text for the new campaign. Will you help me? I 
I would rather talk about that GRE doctor. Oh, fuck. What's going on? Report to me, soldier. Renegades and their cannons. Shit. How is the antenna? You must stop them. What do you think I'm trying to do? The antenna's fine for now. Jack, it's all good. Good, we're bringing together more and more people. Come to the ship, Hayden. There's a recruit here who knows how to find your doctor. Be there soon. So, you think That's you have the balls to be a peacekeeper?
Life sucked. Then the speaker started blaring. Really so, what's it like? Want to kill me some to me. Aiden, you're here. I'm glad. Okay, that's it for now. So, you're still here, Ganjo. Thank you, my friend. For everything. How will I ever repay you? Are you working with Danya? Sure. We trade with whoever's got what we need, at the right price. Nomads, they're an odd bunch, isolated by choice, but they have the best scouts out there. You need something hard to get? You can get it from them, guaranteed. You can finally tell me how to find that doctor like we agreed. Of course, of course. Bring Cadet Gunter in here. Aiden. We've also located a renegade officer's squad. If we hit them, we'll have the upper hand. I've already gathered a team, which includes Luan. You want in on the action? Let's talk about that doctor first. As you wish. Gunter, this is Aiden. You are here because of his efforts. Good to meet you. Yeah, I've heard about you. Sir. Good to meet you, sir. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Tell him what you know about that GRE doctor. The doctor is still working at the bazaar. Bazaar? Really? What's his name? Ryan. Veronica Ryan. Wow. Her? <laughs> what a trip. What's so funny? She's one of the first people I met after entering the city. You know old Villador quite well, don't you? Okay. So, where exactly do I find the doctor? Somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good. Finally. Okay, Cadet Gunter. That's all. Now go back to your training. Yes, sir. Good luck, Aiden. <coughs> Damn it! <coughs> hey, are you okay? <coughs> Just leave for fuck's sake! <coughs>
Five years ago, everything would have been simpler. Why do you say that? You were supposed to be discreet. Not I worried less back then. Pilg. Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, a uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in old Villador. At first, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End, Courtesan Row Street. But you didn't hear it from me. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. You find something you like in the bazaar? Another of us has been taken. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the following that happened. That's about it. Ah! 
Thank God. We where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh. I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Jack Matt, he told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? Yeah, that's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. That's what Daniel was helping you with. Correct. Eliminating him before attacking the Colonel is critical and time sensitive. The wands part of your plan to attack the Colonel? Yes. I'm going to give the butcher what he deserves. And this city, it deserves peace, Aiden. I'm sure you agree. The question is whether you'd be willing to help get there. I'll see if I can help, but I really have to get things started with Dr. Ryan. Understood. Good luck, Aiden.
remember you from the bazaar. Had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much?
I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but first, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now, you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. The stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There, you'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> I wasn't the blocker is working. <laughs> Protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. If 
Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. Made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. Yeah. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator. It stopped. I see. I think it blew a fuse. Checking. Do something. Quick. Please. Try to breathe. Slowly. Ah, oh. Don't leave me. Just don't leave me here. Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. You all right? Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators.
see? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. Dark again. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. It's a tight fit in here. Now, I'll just plug this cable in. It might work. Veronica, how you holding up? Just want to get to that database and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. I promised I'd help you, right? Okay, I get it. Just hold tight. I'll get there as fast as I can. Thanks.
Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... We were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We are all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. It's here. Locked again. What now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select Emergency Unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. Eight. it worked. Yeah, but we may have another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are.
Dr. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director, Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me, didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid, scared, alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway... We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go.
So, we going in? Hope you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait! <clears throat> I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Talk to me, Veronica. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! So think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. A any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go. Find the control room. Contamination procedure ready to begin. Find a way up. Hurry. Control room. Upstairs. <laughs> Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. <clears throat> Thank God. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! That's impossible. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. All of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance. Uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. 
I will check my name. Aiden. Aiden. Uh, there's one record among the youngest children. Year 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Inf infected? They must be here somewhere! <sighs> From any gates. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. Monica? 
You all right? Yes, but I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. If Frank... Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. How can I warn them? I got no way to send out an emergency broadcast. I'll try to reach as many as possible. God, shit. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. <sighs> Want an autograph? Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica? Talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay. Where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Hey, Veronica? What's happening? Someone's hearing. Oh, no. No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the boss. Veronica? Hold on. 
Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Veronica, get away! Give fucking key! Give it to me! Just run, I'll stop him. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? Uh... Done with my sister. She's long gone. No! I'll kill you! Weakling! You're mine, Aiden! Died years ago. Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. Oh, 
Aiden. Aiden, where are you? Aiden. 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 Hey, I got a signal here. Hurry, under that rubble. He's here. <laughs> Aiden, stay with me. Who else got the key, Luan? <laughs> Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. back. Thank God. You really gotta stop doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. And not only that, I'm turning. I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. It was me. <clears throat> Walt's experiments. Back then in the hospital, there was nothing in the GRE database about me. But about the drug Ross was giving us, it had the greatest effect on me. Walt's told me that Mia's dead. I have to get away from here. I'm a threat if I stay to... not to everyone. What if he lied to you? And Mia's alive. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica, Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not you. If this transformation is because of Waltz, then we're going to make him fix it. Got it? I'll help you. How? Waltz created the inhibitors. He must know how to counter their effects. It was that. Come on. Probably another building collapse. The Butcher. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Walt. He used the key. That's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Walt getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be at risk. And Walt took the key from Veronica and escaped. Apparently he needs it for something else. Do you see now? You have to stop him. Him and Williams. No matter what. One. I can't control when I turn. Any moment now, I can... When you feel something happening, just get to a UV light. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. Okay. Okay, let's get him. Now you're talking like the Aiden I know. Jack Matt is looking for you. Apparently, there's a way to get into the stronghold. Go to the ship. Get the details. I... I have to go to the fisheye check in on the wounded. And Frank... He went out to warn people before the missiles hit. They say he got hurt pretty bad. Aiden? Nobody can know about Veronica. Remember. I know it wasn't you who did that. But Jack, the peacekeepers? They won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't.
Before you stands Juan Rayner, guilty of treason and conspiring against the peace and order in Villador. You conspired with the Butcher, the man responsible for the recent attacks. Yes, I spoke with the Colonel, but only to save the city. The person you call the Butcher. He's innocent! The true butcher is right there! On this ship! What, what the hell? What is he talking about? Open your eyes! Matt is gambling with our lives as he did 11 years ago, when he killed half the city! Because of his hubris, the military failed to evacuate the city! You claim you serve justice! If this is truth, then I demand a real trial. Matt was responsible for the missile strike years ago? I, I'd heard some rumors, but... It doesn't make any sense. Matt wants to attack the dam. If he does, the whole city will be flooded with chemicals. Do you all want to die? Attacking the dam? That's suicide. 
Someone should look into this. The commander agreed on the trial you wanted. We checked all evidence. And in the name of law, justice, and order, you're sentenced to death for treason. Aiden! Williams must not die! He's your only chance to... Ah! Ah! What if he was telling the truth? What if more attacks are coming? He was just renegade scum. That's all. Attacking the dam is madness. <sighs> Everyone knows that. Trolls do. Fuck. Fetch this, dump that. Here you are. For a moment there, I was afraid I'd lost you. Were you watching? Yeah. I've witnessed my share of executions, Aiden. The condemned will say anything to save themselves. That's why torture has proven ineffective. Luan told me you know a way into the stronghold. I need to get in. As always, ready for action. Take a break. You don't look well. How things go with the GRE, Doctor? Did you get into the GRE database? Yeah, I did. But the information I'd hoped to find wasn't there. Are you okay? Damn. Let me get the doctor. No. Just wait. What's wrong with you? Just don't worry. I'm fine. Are you sure? We got bigger problems here, Jack. Like, what if Juan was right? And attacking the dam is to... Juan was a liar and a traitor. He was just trying to whitewash his and butcher's sins. That's all. Williams will pay for the bombing of the city. He knew what was going to happen. He'd withdrawn his troops from the places that were bombed. I saw Walt triggering the missile launch procedure. If Walt said anything like that, it was under orders from Williams. You asked me about getting into the stronghold. First, I need someone to sneak in there and lower the bulkheads. That'll lower the water level so we can get in through an airlock. The stronghold has been impenetrable so far. How's this someone sneaking in there? The butcher used trucks to evacuate his people from his camps. One of his drivers is on my uh, payroll, let us say. Payroll? He's a fucking traitor. But what matters is he's betraying our enemies. He'll get you inside. Are you sure we can trust him? He's a renegade, isn't he? It's the surest way to get into the stronghold, trust me. And the safest, to prevent the butcher from flooding the city. Wait for my signal. I will re-establish my contact with the driver and let you know. Hey, have you seen the quartermaster? Hey, Luan. Jack's got a plan for getting into the stronghold. Rainer's men got... It was a massacre, Aiden. What? Where are you? Canteen. Come here, quick. Lots of casualties. Dead. Frank's in critical condition. Nice stuff. Okay, I'm on my way. Pay your respects to the Missy Pilgrim. Her ship, she serves as well. Used to think there was nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Your future is secure. What's the matter? 
I'm Hugh. And you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Mm -hmm. And word is you, you help people. Sometimes. Is that why you called me? I, I need help. My kid went off the water tower earlier and hasn't come back. I'm worried. How long has he been gone? About six hours now. That's a long time. Wouldn't normally worry. Oh, he's such a strong kid. Built like an ox. But it's been such a long time. <sighs> How old's your son? Doesn't matter! I just want my kid back! I would take care of it myself, but... Uh, but there are three young children waiting for me at home. I, I can't leave them unattended. Okay. I'll take a look for you. It's not safe here. Now let's meet in my place after you found him. It's down on Lower Dam Promenade! Bandages. Get me more bandages. Hey, what about Frank? He's still fighting, but everything is gone. Drugs, water. I will kill them. I will kill Williams and Waltz. How could they have done this, Aiden? Psychopaths. Go on. It doesn't look good. I'm here. I'm here. You're gonna be fine. I'm sure I got the crap, Aiden. Promise me. Whatever happens, promise that Luan will. She'll be safe, Frank. I promise. Frank. Oh, Frank. Frank? Frank? Frank! Bastard! Fight! You're a goddamn night runner! <sighs> you promised you wouldn't leave me. Goodbye, Frank. Hey, Jack, what about that driver? I need time, Aiden. We don't have time. Frank's dead. And the one, she's going after the butcher on her own. She's what? No! You cannot let her do that, Aiden. If she goes there now in this state, She'll ruin my plan. I just need more time. Stop her and wait for my signal. <laughs> You'd better hurry. And the one? The one, you there? I'm here. You can't go to the stronghold, the one. <laughs> Want a slug? I just came here to beg you to stay put. That's it. <laughs> That's it? Just be a friend, Aiden. Can you just sit here with me? 
Frank, wherever you are, this one's for you. It's hard to think of a better way to remember him. When you say it like that, it's actually really, really sad. Now drink. Luan, I... it's not safe for you to be around me. You know I can't control it. When I was with Jack, I, I almost turned. I'll manage Waltz on my own. You know this is between me and him. He'll tell me what happened to Mia, how to stop my transformation. Then I'll leave. So this is a goodbye? Sort of. Maybe not. <sighs> stop talking nonsense. There are UV lamps here. I'm safe and I just want to make one thing clear, Aiden. One thing. I'm going with you. We'll kill them together. You'll get your revenge. Don't deprive me of mine. Luan, you need to stay away from the stronghold. <laughs> Why? Because fucking Jack said so? And we'll get him. But, uh, but not today. Not like that. It's too risky. You'll die in there and... <laughs> and why do you care? <laughs> hmm? Spare me your... whatever that was gonna be. <sighs> it's okay to be angry. And who the fuck are you? Hello, Mr. Buddha, Captain fucking Yoga Enlightenment. Good to meet you. Now shut the fuck up. Give me back my friend. You talking about me? Or the bottle? I don't want you to get killed. That's all. <sighs> Stop pretending you're my father, Aiden. That was Frank's role. <sighs> I'll miss it. I miss him. Yeah, I know. Are you ever afraid? Like, really afraid? What do you mean? Are you ever afraid that this is pointless? That after all this effort, you won't find your sister? Ever? I'm more afraid of what I'm turning into. That I'll become a monster. Like the ones we're fighting. <laughs> you won't be a monster. Ever. Give me your hand. I won't bite. Well, not hard. <clears throat> Remember? You see, you're like my brother. You'd never hurt me. You'll never become a monster in my eyes. Anyway, don't worry. I won't go to the stronghold. You can relax now. You sure? Yes. I'm crazy, but not that crazy. I'll wait. <laughs> that grumpy old bastard kept saying that I'm the future of the Night Runners. He'd come back from the dead and kill me if I did anything that stupid. To Frank. Aiden? Yes? I'm drunk. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> and I'm sad. Well, let's put you to bed. Okay. Don't leave me alone tonight, okay? Just... Just stay here. <laughs> sure.
Get the fuck off me! The one? The one? What the? I couldn't stay. Sorry. You went anyway? Oh, the one. Aiden, everything's ready. The driver's waiting for you. His truck is parked by the old shopping mall at Garrison and Riverend. The one went after the butcher. What? You were supposed to stop her. Not good. If she's caught, the plan is ruined. They'll kill her. Okay, listen. Getting in there is extremely difficult. Even if she could, it would take her some time. Get your ass in gear and find the driver. On my way. The one.